So, okay. So when, when they teach you in school, and, and we're going to measure hip flexion, what they're looking at is this. They're looking at this small space, this, this hip joint, when the reality is, is as I move this hip through its excursion, so, so normal hip flexion in school is? 120. 120, perfect. Okay, so as I'm moving this hip into my imaginary 120, mm -hmm. what they're telling you is that there's nothing else moving. Mm -hmm. You were looking at this hip joint, it's just hip, hip joint excursion. Mm -hmm. When the reality is, as I move this thing through space, mm -hmm. So I get to like roughly 60 degrees of hip flexion, and I have reorientation of muscles that have been traditionally referred to as external rotators. They become internal rotators, mm -hmm. right? So I have stuff pulling on stuff, and I get relative motion changes, right? Mm -hmm. So as I'm moving this through, through its excursion of hip flexion, I'm probably getting a widening of the, of the pelvic outlet as I pass through this 60 to 120 range, and then I'm gonna hit some imaginary end range based on, mm -hmm. on the textbook. But for me to go past that, which under normal circumstances, so, so think about taking someone's thigh to their chest, mm -hmm. right? I should get another relative position change where I'm gonna get ER of the ilium, I'm gonna get ipsilateral counternutation, and I'm gonna get rotation to the same side. Mm -hmm. So I have to appreciate this as I move these, these people through these excursions. Mm -hmm. But I can also observe a lot of rotation that's going on here. So as, as I move somebody into hip flexion, and I see them turn, turn their pelvis towards me, so that's an orientation of the pelvis mm -hmm. in space towards me. It's not the relative motion of, of the, the movement within the pelvis. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm gonna see is I'm gonna see this opposing femur either externally rotate away from me or it's going to follow the whole pelvis without any relative motion at all. Mm -hmm. And so now I can actually identify what's actually going on here at the hip joint as I'm moving through space. Mm -hmm. And that allows me to make better decisions and better interventions because now I can say, oh, okay, so wait a minute. So as I move here, this is actually internally rotating as I move it through hip flexion or I'm actually capturing the normal external rotation and range. So again, just, just attending to what's happening as I move is underappreciated. Mm -hmm. and, and if you can do that, I just think you're infinitely more successful with what you're actually looking at, mm -hmm. which means your interventions are going to get better. Mm -hmm. so, and so, yeah, so when, so when you're measuring hip flexion, like what, what motions of the opposite pelvis tell you when to stop? Well, so I don't, so question, or, or my response to that is, mm -hmm. is that, um, why would I stop? Okay. Yeah. Right? Don't I want to see what happens? Mm -hmm. You see, do, just appreciating that. Because again, I don't know what's going to happen when I get above that 90 degree mm -hmm. angle. Yeah. Right? So I would just want to appreciate yeah. what's going on. And then, based on this measurement and then the rest of my chessboard, I can surmise what's actually going on with the pelvis. Okay. So now I'm going to see orientation versus relative motion under certain circumstances. So, so, so if, I, if, I, if I'm moving this up and I, and I hit whatever constraint, right? Yeah. And what do I always tell you? It's like, go just a little bit past, don't hurt anybody, mm -hmm. but yeah. you go a little bit past because you want to see what happens, Yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. now if I'm bringing the whole pelvis with me and if I'm bringing the whole femur with me, mm -hmm. right? So, so if, if I roll the pelvis this way, the femur should roll away. Mm -hmm. It should roll into ER mm -hmm. as, as the pelvis orients towards me, but what if it doesn't? Now it comes with me. And now I've got more information about where I'm going to measure this left hip, mm -hmm. right? Because chances are I don't have external rotation on the other side mm -hmm. that I should have mm -hmm. just based on my, my visual cue. And again, it might be right, it might be wrong. It, it requires that you measure it. Mm -hmm. But now you're thinking more along the lines of what's actually happening versus mm -hmm. looking at this as some imaginary dead guy position and it, it's only hip joint excursion that's happening. Yeah. That's never happening. We have to appreciate the relative motions that are happening around that.